person, like yes. finally. Hi, baby. Get a different? Yes. Okay, now it's real, real. Like, now it's, it's really real. real. <laughs> <laughs> Very beautiful. Whoever did y'all's interior design work is a beast. Michelle and her student Sarah did it with the help of like beautiful. Uh, me either, because I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that good, like at all. Oh, this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because it's not attached. Right. Okay, and then this is another one. This is the peach sheet. Cute. This is actually that's a This has uh, this last one that we had. This is so beautiful. Dad was like, can I take a shower This is like this way for the appointment, and then this way for the birth, like the actual so when like. So you come in for birth, you come into this door. So cute. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So we just left our first prenatal appointment and we got to hear a heartbeat, which was such a gift and so exciting. And I was honestly very surprised because I did not think that I was 10 weeks already, which based on calculating it with Taria midwife, like I'm pretty sure that's more accurate than what I was thinking. I was thinking like maybe six, seven, eight-ish but then it, I was so confused on like the timing of it so I was like I'm just gonna figure it out figure it out at our first prenatal appointment but it went really great she's so cool and we had already talked on the phone um, previously but meeting her for the first time today was just like awesome what were your first thoughts she was good she was dope yeah very yeah um, seems like a Sister. Right? Sister. Yeah, she gives off very like sisterly, just like very like chill, down to earth energy. So, love that so much. And I'm feeling good today. I think the last time I did a check in, I was feeling some tiredness and exhaustion and stuff. But the last few days, I've been feeling really good. So, um, hopefully, we've got a. a kickstart to you know the second trimester bliss since I'm closer to the second trimester than I even thought I was so we gonna see but the other <laughs> the other thing is today we realized that our chances of potentially having twins is like kind of high um, I don't know if I've ever said this to you all before but I'm an identical twin right most people know this but my mother is also an identical twin and we shortly found out or recently found out that my grandmother on my mom's side was also a twin a fraternal twin um which is a whole conversation for another day it's like some deep you know family things because no one knew that she was a twin until I found their birth certificates last year so yeah that was interesting um, and kind of a lot to like wrap our minds around but fast forwarding back to now is because this is my third pregnancy and I'm older 
all of these factors essentially heighten my my you know chances of having twins so now we're gonna probably well we're, we haven't decided yet if we're gonna do an early sonogram to just you know see what's happening and how many babies there are currently we heard one heartbeat but our midwife said that there could still be two babies in there we just only heard one and so we stopped at one basically we didn't keep looking for another heartbeat so there could be another um in there so yeah we're gonna chat a little bit more um about whether or not we will do an early sonogram because the other piece of that is because our midwife and birth center essentially that she's working out of is a self-pay essentially they don't take insurance which is you know it depends on where you get care for or care from uh, some birth centers take insurance some only take certain ins insurances um, it depends on your state and all this other stuff but uh, we're self-paying this time um, and so understanding that that fee comes with a certain amount of sonogram certain amount of like different services and so doing an early sonogram would be an additional cost so um, she said that she thinks it's around 220 for the early sonogram to get done um, so we're just kind of weighing our options as far as like you know if I'm already 10 weeks now we already have a sonogram planned for 20 weeks is it really gonna make a difference for us to know whether or not there's two babies or one baby right now or in a few weeks or just waiting until 20 weeks so that's kind of up in the air for us right now as far as you know if we're going to do the extra sonogram or not uh we did do genetic testing so with this i think it's called what is it called do you remember what it was called it's a genetic test where from your blood they can tell you what the gender of your baby is as early as eight weeks and so we did this test with Micah last time and we found out he was a boy at eight weeks. And then uh, this time we did it again. And so the only scenario we can think of that essentially would tell us that there's two babies instead of one before a sonogram would be if the twins were fraternal and like one was a boy and one was a girl. Like would the test be inconclusive at that point because it would pick up two genders or would it say two genders you know we don't know and um so we're waiting on three our midwife to hit us back as far as like what it would say because she was thinking she i texted her and she was like i was literally thinking the same thing and so she said she's going to send a message um she's currently driving just like we are because we all just left the birth center but yeah so we'll see um because i think we get the results from the genetic testing pretty quick so if it's a boy and a girl twin like we might know i don't know it's kind of it's kind of a reach but we'll see we'll see um i'm personally mentally prepared for one baby if it's two i would be incredibly happy and also shocked and also just having a lot of emotions because having two babies changes my whole birth plan because when you have twins or multiples uh, that changes your pregnancy status from low risk to high risk automatically and so I would not be able to have the babies at home or in a birth center I would have to go to a hospital but there's there's still ways for the midwife to be a part of my birth experience and part of my prenatal care and all that um, it would just be totally different than what we've already kind of planned. So on top of the fact that like, we would be bringing two new members of our family into the world instead of one. Um, so that would just be like, whoa, a lot. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, I will keep y'all posted on 